<clears throat> Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Sheldon, and this is a vlog, a weekly vlog that I have not done in such a long time. The last video I did was probably in October, so I have been slacking just a little bit. Now, the reason I haven't been posting for quite some time is actually due to an event. Now, this event is... It's actually an acronym or shortened version, and people refer to it as NaNoWriMo. It stands for National Novel Writing Month, which is what I spent pretty much every single day of November, you know, putting my effort towards. So I had a lot of videos that were kind of put on the back burner. I wasn't able to do them. I wasn't able to post them. However, that's mainly for the weekly vlogs that I do for you guys. So... I'm sure a lot of you have subscribed for those, so I apologize for just being super busy. You know, November is a really, really busy month for me, especially leading into December right now as well. So I've been super busy. I have a lot of things that have been put on the back burner, which need to be attended to, obviously. But NaNoWriMo, just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, is, is basically it's... It's an event where people are encouraged to write manuscripts. It's to get people who have been thinking about writing, you know, just trying to get them into it, right? Trying to get them interested. And basically you spend 30 days for November writing 50,000 words. Now, I've already completed it. I was successful. I had a great time doing it and <laughs> I'm still actually working on my manuscript. And so I want to just briefly uh, explain the process for anyone who is interested. So readers and writers, you guys definitely want to stick around for this. So I'm going to switch over so you guys can see some of the stats that are, are tracked, basically. And this is, this is the information that I go off of to kind of keep myself on track, you know, from November 1st right up to November 30th. You know, it's not always easy, but it is very rewarding. It's something that I've done for quite a while. So you guys can see that I use the NaNoWriMo website for the tracking. So you can see my progress. It's it's pretty consistent for the most part. I do have some other ones that are not very consistent whatsoever. You know, I wrote 10,000 words in one day for one of the NaNoWriMo events just because I was so behind that particular month. Now, obviously, it's going to show my overall progress. It's going to show my daily word count, that sort of thing. And there are some other statistics there, like when you write, your word count. However, for some reason, my word count continually went down. And eventually it was at one word per minute, which is obviously not accurate. So I had to disregard that feature on the website because obviously it wasn't functioning the way it should have. And switching over to what I use to also track my progress, which is write track. I will be including some of these links if you guys want to actually check these things out. And write track is, it's a free service. Um, you just gotta, you know, make a username and whatever. Now, this one, it it is very similar in, in some aspects of keeping track of your daily progress. However, it does give you more of this visual calendar. It's very color coordinated and me personally, I prefer to use this one and the NaNoWriMo one just because they both have things that appeal to me in terms of keeping me on track so that I'm successful. So as you can see, the beginning of the month, I didn't do very well. And as the month progressed, I wrote more and more and I pushed really, really hard to stay consistent. I got majority of my writing done on the weekends when I had more time, obviously during the week with a, 
with a full-time job, it's not always possible. So it is very challenging. And I know that for some people, this is going to be a very difficult thing to do with a job. However, I was able to write around 120,000 words one year and a month. So I know that if you're not working, 120,000 words is absolutely doable. It's not impossible. So to be working full time and to write a little under half, I think it's a pretty reasonable goal. And I think that a lot of people should be able to meet that goal of 50,000 words. And there have been a couple of years that I've competed in this where I didn't quite, you know, I, d I did make it, but it wasn't as much as some of the other years. So as you can see, my total at the end of the 30 days was just shy of 52,000 words. I'm probably up around 53 or 54,000 right now, and I'm still not done. I'm still working on the manuscript. Now, the one thing that I wanted to go over is the other projects. So I started doing this in 2016. That was the first time I ever considered doing it. And basically, you, you don't get any money, you don't get any rewards or anything, you know, nothing fancy. It is literally you holding yourself to, you know, stay on track and get it done. So if you're not, if you don't have a lot of self-discipline, it's probably going to be very difficult for you to do. However, I was able to write just shy of 54,000 words in my first year of competing in NaNoWriMo. And that was for Dead Country. It was a zombie apocalypse story. It was the first one I ever wrote. And that manuscript was one of my favorites. Um, I really enjoyed writing that one. The following year, um, I didn't actually do anything. I don't exactly, I don't remember exactly what was going on. But I did not compete in 2017. Uh, 2018, however, I did. I wrote The Meat Seller, which, again, just shy uh 52,000. And in the following year, 2019, I wrote the sequel to Dead Country, which is Dead Country Crossroads. And that one, I wrote just over 50,000 words. So three years later, I wrote the sequel... I feel like that story is complete now. I just have the two the two manuscripts for it. And then last year, I wrote Healing in Hell. That is the title of the book. And I wrote just a smidgen over 53,000 words. And I think that... I can't remember which one was which, but one of those, uh, I think the Meat Cellar or Healing in Hell, one of them, I... I had a, a difficult time writing it. And of course, this here, which was just shy of 52,000. However, that is not the total. That is just what I wrote for the month. So obviously, some of these totals that I'm that I'm discussing right now, they they aren't necessarily a hundred percent accurate because obviously this is a, a first draft of most of these stories. So there could be a lot of improvements or maybe, you know, maybe I took away a little bit and rewrote it or whatever. But it's just kind of give you guys uh, an idea of it. So I figured I would include that uh, discussion for you guys. And that's pretty much it. You know, I wanted to discuss why I wasn't around doing weekly vlogs for you guys in November. And that is why. So... Like I said, it's something that happens every year. Basically, you can get lots of goodies, something like a t-shirt. So that is my t-shirt from 2019. And obviously there's other items like coffee mugs, that sort of thing. And there are also photos. Basically, you can post them on social media or whatever. There's banners. You can put them on Facebook as well. Those are part of the winner's goodies package that they hand out. And there's also a certificate that you get to, that you get to download. So basically, you put in your name, you put in the title of the book, 
uh, or the manuscript and you put in the date and you can save it you can print it you can frame it if you want to it's in color so I have mine all downloaded I haven't printed them in color or anything or put them on the wall but I do have them as reference just to remind myself of what I've done what is possible Oh, and basically just to encourage myself every time November comes around because, like I said, there was one year where I didn't compete. I don't remember the reason for it, but for whatever reason, I did not. And, you know, it it doesn't feel good to miss out on it now anyway because I've done it for, what, three years in a row. So it's nice to keep that consistency and I want to keep doing it. So... Like I said, I've actually done it, yeah, so th three years technically in a row, but four years total. So four consecutive years, and the book that I wrote this time around is Adrenaline Rush. The synopsis I wrote is completely different from what the story actually is now, so um, I will probably have that blurred out for you guys just so that there's... No confusion if you guys end up reading my books, but I am going to be posting more videos of my work. So if you guys are interested in that, leave some comments down below of what genres you guys read. And I'm going to start working on some other projects. So right now we're, you know, we're, we're getting into the holiday season. So I am going to be busy, but I'm going to be getting back on track. I'm going to be covering a few other topics for you guys, videos that I had to actually set aside and not touch for well over a month now so i'm getting back on track so i hope you guys are excited because i definitely am and next year is it's gonna be pretty crazy you know i'm gonna be focusing on the qu uh, quality over quantity uh, as opposed to what i did in the beginning where i was just literally posting anything and everything so i hope you guys are looking forward to that so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of the notifications there's a little bell make sure to click that as well and if you guys like this video make sure to smash that like button so that i know that it's working and i will catch you guys in the next one